uh, in a way not to do things. Uh-huh. Rick and Morty co-creator Justin Rowland mm-hmm. faces felony domestic violence charges. Oh, he's already been charged. Yes, this, this was, was like old. this was like in 2020, I think, wasn't it? But it just came out now somehow. Yeah. I don't know if it was just like someone finally was like, hey, look at that. That's that guy from that show or what. But uh, yeah, two years ago, he was charged with beating his wife. Yeah. Domestic assault or violence or something like that. Yeah. And then everyone was, you know, he's got to go. So he's gone from everywhere. There you go. So, I mean, maybe that joke just flew right over my head and I didn't get it. Is it was that supposed to be funny? Which his domestic violence. It, it's think supposed so. to be a super funny show, right? It's supposed to be smart and dumb people. Well, I don't, don't think get there's it. any domestic violence on the show. No, but he just likes I, that maybe he thinks world. that this is a joke and people just don't get it. Oh, maybe. Because the show is too smart, so, so he's I don't too think smart. So. Um <laughs> the don't domestically violence. Don't the, beat your significant other. Don't do it. Exactly. The, this um, is a this is a warning. <laughs> Are you going to be out there? I will get you. <laughs> um, so, uh, Adult Swim immediately was like, "Yeah, he's gone. We got rid of him. He's not allowed here anymore. He's off the show. We're going to continue without him." And it's just like, "Wow, they didn't even like wait a day or like a week to be like, "Well, will it blow over or <laughs> you know?" Yeah. So it's like, okay, you know, it's not good. Domestic violence is bad, obviously. Don't have to I shouldn't have to say that. But like there must have been something about at work as well where they were like, "Yeah, finally, we can get rid of him." <laughs> Cuz usually they'll be like at least a little bit of time where they'll be like, "Yeah, we're going to conduct conduct an investigation yeah. or whatever." They're just like, "No, he's gone. Just get rid of him." So there might have been something else problems, historic problems at work with something where they finally were like, "Yeah, we can get rid of him." Yeah. Potentially. Um, he's also gone from Squamch Games, the ones that did High on Life. Oh, yeah. Apparently, he's, I mean, I've never really watched Rick and Morty, but he's the voice of them both. So they're going to have to get someone to do the voice <laughs> for them in the show, I guess. Is the show still airing? Yeah. New it's episodes? Just, it just was renewed for two more seasons. <laughs> they're going to continue going, but he apparently hasn't like really written for the show since like the first season. So... It's not like it was his baby humor or whatever yeah, anymore. Yeah. I mean, I don't know whatever exactly is going on with it. And like, I mean, I don't know the whole story about what happened. Maybe it was, maybe he didn't domestically violence. I don't know. Maybe there was just, I don't know. It could be anything really. I'm not saying I don't believe it. I do believe it, <laughs> but like, all we know is like what was a kind of he said, she said situation. Yeah. Unless the cops witnessed him beating his wife or something like that. But also there's different levels of it as well. They all fall under the same name, but yeah, could have been just holding her down or something like that. Again, it sounds like I'm <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, it's not that big of a deal. It is a big deal. It, but it's a huge deal. And you're not trying to uh, support the man in any. No, way. I've never watched Rick and Morty and I haven't played high on life. And I'm not I don't care either way, really. But there's generally two sides to a story. Yeah, for sure. But whatever. I don't, I'm not like saying he should get his job back or anything like that because <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the story, but. No one will ever know the real story. No, definitely not. <laughs> That's one thing is like all this stuff is like, you'll never know what actually happened. So everyone spins their story their own way. Do you think there's ever been like the world's most honest person? Probably. I don't think so. They're dead now. No, I don't think there's ever been anyone that something happened to where they told the full story. Honestly, <laughs> there's always embe- em- uh, embellishment. embellishment or making it changing the narrative. So it makes you look better. Or you look, wor- or the other person look worse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, 